set up transport networks for different types of logistics. If, for example, logistics means require different path widths or there is a directional constraint only for certain logistics means, different transport networks must be used. This is shown in the warehouse example here. The blue material flows show how the material is brought from the delivery to the warehouse by the forklift. The red material flows show how a tugger train brings the material from the warehouse to the production areas. The tugger train cannot turn around and can only move in one direction. Therefore, you cannot use a universal network here, you need two transportation networks. First we hide the material flows. Then select a node or an arrow of the network and check the properties in the dynamic menu. The default network is universal. If possible, you should keep it that way. But in our case, we can assign the forklift for which this network is intended. Next, we need to create and assign a second transport network for the tugger train. It is still important to set the transport direction for the arrows in the dynamic menu because the tugger train can only move in one direction in the warehouse. Last, you activate Material Flow. You will now see the visualization of the different material flow. However, be sure not to mix the Universal Network with the Specific Networks.